Hi, this is Kurt Thomas here with Smoking Affairs. We're here today covering the 13th annual Big Cigar Dew, the fall annual fall dew that uh, Tobacco World in Marietta, Georgia, the Cigar Superstore. Today we have live music, a lot of good food, a lot of cigar notables are here. Cigar Dave is doing a live broadcast. Uh, just had a few words with Nestor Miranda here a few minutes ago. There's a couple other folks here, Jonathan Drew. We're going to try and get around and talk to these folks today. If you didn't make it to this event, this will be your vicarious thrill. Sit back and enjoy. Thank you. Um, well, I live not far from here, and my boyfriend Chris goes to a lot of like the different cigar events here in Chattanooga. So, decided to stop by, see what you guys were doing. Okay. What are you smoking, smoking here today? Um, today I have a CAO. A CAO. Yeah, I'm oh. in chance. It's great. Okay. I love it. <laughs> it's my how favorite. Long, how long have you been smoking cigars? About five years. Yeah. What is your favorite brand? CAO. Yeah. <laughs> I like them. Any particular, so, any particular uh, version flavor? of CAO? The Moon Trance. The Moon Trance. I love it. I love okay. girly things. So. <laughs> okay. I love them. Next, we're going to talk with a couple of ladies who have come with it, come to visit us from Chattanooga today, and you are Christy. Christy, and tell me, Christy, what brought you to this event today? Uh, the Ladies Cigar Smokers of Chattanooga. Excellent, excellent. How many members do you have? We have 22 ladies. Okay. Now, how long have you been smoking cigars? Two and a half years. What is your favorite brand? Tatsuwahe or Padron. Okay. Any particular uh, versions of those of those uh, fine labels? My favorite Tatsuwahe is. Probably the Kappa, the Kappa or the TAA that just came out. Okay. And Padron, Laundry's Natural. Okay. And another lady from Chattanooga joining us here today. Your name is? Erin. Erin, okay. And you're, you're from Chattanooga and you're a member of this group also? Yes, we both founded the, the group about a year ago. Really? And what led you to do that? The love of cigars, I guess, and wanting to be more a part of the scene and get more ladies involved in it, and we've accomplished that. We've gotten, we've doubled our size in a year, and we're very proud. Okay, do you have a website? We do. We have, well, we have a Facebook, and it's the Lady Cigar Smokers of Chattanooga, so like us. And we are, we will have a website through burnschattanooga.com. Is it burnstobacconist.com? The, burns There'll be a link on their website. To our page. I'm smoking the Grimalkin. Shout out Gary. Um, it's from the Emilio line. It's a good cigar. Okay. What would you say your, among your favorite labels? It's really, really hard to pick a favorite when you smoke so much. Um, I like Padron. Love them. Uh, I mean, I smoke pretty much anything. Liga Pravada is great. Davidoff. For our novice lady cigar smokers out there, what would you recommend as a good cigar to start with? Um, anything with a light wrapper that is going to be kind of smooth and Davidoff not. 2000 is a great Davidoff to start number with. two. Yeah, anything kind of light. I wouldn't start off with a Maduro. Same thing with her. I would start off with something with a Connecticut wrapper, something very mild. Um, the Davidoff's a great way to go. The uh, Ashton Camacho. What would be your recommendation to our beginning lady cigar smokers? I'd say me personally. I know it's really girly. I know y'all are going to hate me, but me personally, I like the flavored ones. I like like the lighter, the smoother, like creamy. It just kind of goes more, it's like a more feminine feel than something like stronger and, you know, heavier. So. Okay. One last question to you ladies. Sometimes ladies I've talked to have been intimidated by large ring gauge cigars. Does that bother you at all? No, not at all. No, I mean, I, I typically prefer something 52 or smaller, but, I mean, it's all depending on your preference. Yeah, I mean, I when they get really big, I don't like the way it feels in my hand. It can be awkward to hold something, because I have small, tiny hands, so holding like a 60 ring gauge sometimes, you know, doesn't feel right. So smoke something that fits good in your hand. Joining us now, a recently retired Army veteran and... Uh, May I say thank you very much for your service. First of all, how long have you been smoking? Well, I've been smoking cigars since 1996. My first cigar was in Jackson, Mississippi. I happened to walk upon a cigar shop and thought, why not? So I got my first cigar, and it was called the Fighting Cock, actually. I went from then to a Macanudo, which was the rave back then. And, and so you are from around this area, I believe Stockbridge, Georgia? I live in Stockbridge, Georgia. I'm originally from Louisville, Kentucky. Um, 
I, I was brought here from the military. I've moved so many different places over the years. I spent 25 years and eight months in the Army uh, and retired as a major. Well, congratulations again on your service. And what brought you to the event today? <laughs> uh, I heard about the uh, anniversary uh, celebration and also that it was partially a celebration for the veterans uh, off of Twitter. I saw Cigar Dave's uh, advertisement on Twitter and also Tobacco World's advertisement on Twitter and decided to show up. Um, so I'm excited really to be here. This is really nice. I love events like this. So what are you smoking with us today here? Today I am smoking a Rocky Patel 50. Uh, I love this. Uh, I'm, I'm a Maduro smoker so uh, over the years, I kind of graduated from a natural uh, leaf to a more stronger, bold leaf because uh, I just like that kick. First time I tried it, I, got, <laughs> I kind of got dizzy from it, but I just love the taste. This strong coffee is my thing. Okay, so that's the perfect segue into my next question. For the beginning novice smoker, for the young lady out there who is thinking about trying a cigar, what would you recommend as something that they would start with? Stick with a natural leaf. It's a, a lighter leaf or a Connecticut leaf, something that's a lot lighter. Guaranteed they'll graduate from there. I, I know that uh, most of the beginning smokers, like my sister, she started smoking cigars uh, three years ago. My sister-in-law also started off with uh, uh, something a little bit milder than what I was smoking. But uh, I would say a CAO. Um, Connecticut Leaf CAO or uh, they can go with a Macanudo like I did. It's a very popular blend um, that uh, a lot of people love. So, And then also something small like a uh, Corona size or a Petite Corona uh, rather than something like a Torpedo or a Presidente size. Okay, well thank you very much for being with us and uh, I hope you have a great time the rest of the day. Thank I you. It. Thank you very much. Hi, it's Kurt again. We're uh, wound down through most of the day here, and we've had a wonderful time at the Cigar Superstore's big event, the 13th anniversary. And uh, it's it was just a wonderful time. A lot of a lot of important cigar notables were here. We did some interviews with those some of those people, and uh, you'll be able to see those. And joining me now to kind of get a recap for the day, the owner of Tobacco World, the Cigar Superstore, Mr. Red. How are you? We had a great day. We had, um, I, I want to say, a, a true number, about 800, 850 in, in people here. Uh, of course, we had Cigar Day broadcasting, which was phenomenal. Uh, Dave Marlino after him. Uh, a lot of the owners of factories and stuff like that got to be on the radio with him, which was just unbelievable. The place has been, has been packed all day. Um, we're going to have to clean up for like a week and a half. But... Um, <laughs> You know, we, we had a great time. We, we put on a big party, and we have a lot of people show up, which is phenomenal. We feed them well. You know, there's shops that do, you know, hamburgers and hot dogs, and we don't do that. We do fried turkeys and smoked pork loin and all kinds of stuff. We did some Cuban food this year, which is really great. So. Additionally, we had some, uh, some money raised for charity today. We had a couple of charity auctions. Talk yeah. to us a minute about that. Yeah, absolutely. We had, um, we're lucky because the manufacturers will send us hard to get stuff you know rocky sent a tray of i, I want to say it was 80 or 100 decades um i donated a, a magnum of, of my wine and, and we got all kinds of stuff signed stuff that was you know just great from everybody we auctioned that off and and what we do with that is that the the proceeds from that is split between two charities it's the cigar family for the fuentes and we also do the rocky patel foundation so we split that in half and you know send them a check which is really nice you know, cigar people can can help, which is good. Thanks for that uh, for that review of the day. I know I personally had a great time, and put this on your calendar, folks, for next year if you didn't make it. And uh, look for the videos. Uh, there'll be uh, all the interviews of the, uh, the people that we interviewed today. Uh, we're going to be posted up on Red site, and uh, take a look, and you'll see part of the good day that you missed. And we'll look so forward to seeing you all next year. Absolutely. Thanks for, for all the people that came out, all the manufacturers, and all the guys that helped us in here. And uh, like you said, we look forward to seeing you next year because it's going to be a hell of a party next year. Now, awesome. Thanks for all the guys that came down out of state, all the regulars, all the employees that made this day possible. It doesn't happen without these guys, ever. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Give yourself a hand, gentlemen.